So yesterday I went on a listing appointment and the customer gave me what they thought was the square footage of the home. So as I was there, I kind of gave them a rough estimate what I thought just based on the square footage that they told me. However, when I went back to the office and I was able to look up some of the, the county information, I saw that the home was actually quite a bit smaller than what I was told. So when I gave them the final number, it was a little smaller than what they were expecting. So they said, well, how did you come up with that number? So I'm gonna go through that. All right, so here you'll see the layout of the home. This is a two-story home, and what I'm looking at is this main area here. It says 1,010 square feet, and it's TWB means two-story with basement. What I can assume there with this two-story home then is that the upstairs and main floor are finished, so we're gonna be able to do 1,010 square feet, 1,010 square feet and the basement we can't always assume that it's finished but I know that it was because I was there and what I'm going to do is 1,010 square feet I'll get back to that later so the next thing I'm gonna look for is where else is there finished square footage in this home DKG means deck in good condition PTG means patio good condition and AGG means garage good condition so I'm not going to use any of those oh and here's OPG open porch good condition so I'm not going to use any of those but you'll see small rectangles here ONB means one story no basement so what we can assume is that one story of this house has an extra one foot by 11 foot area without a finished basement here's a picture of what that looks like so what I'm going to do upstairs, I'll add 11 square feet. Over here, you'll see OWB. That means one story with basement. So that's this jut out. So what I'll be able to do is add 68 square feet to the main floor and to the basement. Here we have the trapezoid shape. One story, no basement. That means that this takes up one story of the home and not the basement, so that's 18 square feet. And that's on the main floor, as you can see here. And then O and B, we see that upstairs, and that's 11 square feet. So this is the maximum square footage of the home. But as we know, every home has some unfinished square footage, usually under the stairs or in the utility room. I know when we were there that we measured this corner as the utility room to be 11 by 14 feet, which is 154 square feet. So in the basement, what I'm going to do is minus 154 for the unfinished square footage. So now my total is going to be 1,010 times three. And then I'm going to add in the 68 from the main floor plus the 18 from the main floor, plus the 11 upstairs, plus 11 upstairs, plus 68 in the basement, minus 154. That comes out to 3,052 total square feet. So that's how I calculate the total square footage of the home. And the homeowner said, yeah, makes complete sense. I think that you're right. So. Uh, it was just a very simple question as to how we do things and that's how I go about it.